The 2020 amendments to the Heat Network's metering and billing regulations introduced the Cost Effectiveness Tool. For the sake of convenience, we'll be referring to the Cost Effectiveness Tool as the CET throughout this video. The CET is a Microsoft Excel format tool that was created for heat suppliers to assess whether metering devices such as heat meters, heat cost allocators, thermostatic radiator valves, and hot water meters should be installed in each open class building that falls within the definition of a communal or district heating network. If you're unsure about your building class, we have a video dedicated to explaining the three building classes, viable, open and exempt, which will be linked in the description of this video. A full guide to building classes can also be found in table B2 of the Heat Network's metering and billing guidance document. This will also be linked in the description. As a heat supplier, you must complete the CET for each of the open class buildings on your network. To start, head over to www.gov.uk forward slash guidance forward slash heat hyphen networks, where you will find the two types of CET. Heat suppliers only need to complete one of the forms, but choosing which one depends on the information which is available to you. The reduced cost effectiveness tool is designed to be used when the actual energy consumption for a building is known and a code for meter installation cost is available. Meanwhile, the full input cost effectiveness tool should be used when the energy consumption of a building is estimated or a quote for the meter installation cost is not available, even if the energy consumption for the building is known. If it is deemed not cost-effective to install metering devices, OPSS recommends that the heat supplier sends a copy of the completed CET to the Heat Network's team at heatnotifications at base.gov.uk. If you require help with filling out the CET, the Heat Network's team has recorded a webinar which will walk you through the CET step by step. The link for this recording will be included in the description of this video. Heat suppliers are required to install meters on their networks where required by the 1st of September 2022. If a building is in the open class, a meter must be installed unless it is shown not to be cost effective to do so. The deadline in the regulations to complete a CET by the 27th of November 2021 has now passed. As such, heat suppliers with an open class building that have not yet done so are encouraged to complete the CET as soon as possible to enable them to meet the meter installation deadline. Where a building first falls into the open class on or after the 1st of September 2022, a cost effectiveness assessment must be made and metering devices installed where required. If it is deemed not cost effective to install metering devices and there are any changes to the infrastructure of the building, another assessment would be required to know if it is still cost effective to install metering devices in the building in question. Again, if it is deemed not cost effective to install metering devices, the heat supplier will need to perform the cost effectiveness assessment when they re-notify the OPSS every four years as per usual. To recap, the CET is an Excel format tool designed to help heat suppliers determine if it is cost effective for them to install metering devices. There are two types of CET, the reduced and the full input. The reduced CET is to be filled out when both actual energy consumption of a building is known and a code for meter installations is available, while the full input CET is to be used when one or both the energy consumption of a building is not known and a coat for the installation of meters is not available. All buildings that fall into the open class must complete their CET and if the result of the assessment is positive, must install metering devices by the 1st of September 2022. All buildings that fall into the open class after the 1st of September 2022 must complete their CET and install metering devices at that same time. All of the resources mentioned in this video will be linked in the description, along with a link to the Heat Network's webpage where you can find further guidance. We hope that these resources will help you when completing the CET. If you have any further inquiries, please email us at heatnotifications at bays.gov.uk. We hope you found this video explainer useful and that it helped you gain a better understanding of the cost-effectiveness tool.